guess the denies look pretty good though for Chrysalis at the moment, so I'm not sure if he's just putting a little bit more attention on trying to slow down jabs. Doesn't give They've you got gold. A pretty big wave though. No, it doesn't give you gold. But he's going <laughs> to stop some of the experience to help with the damage now with this dive attempt. Well, he's going to run straight to Poppy, and it looks like it's about to work into Secret's favor. Afu's even going to rotate as well with the teleport, so Q, he'll go down as well Ooh, as Secret. Kill. I mean, well done. When you're doing this, you're you're letting go of something else on the map. Let's see. This is a Rubik. bit awkward for Aurora. Because Lorenov is about to rotate. Corner's got the level six, and with the damage from the timber, Oli will go down. Oh my god! Gonna have to risk. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> All right, it's still gonna try and go the long way around to catch up to Boom. But it's a miss. bit more oh. difficult. Maybe the wisdom. wisdom Rundo. Okay. Yeah. Do we like to blink first on on jabs? Do, do you feel like there's just no one else to be able to make plays, and, and and that's why he needs to blink to be able to act as that initiator? Mid lane. Stampede. Boom's back. Gordon though. He's got Seeker all playing behind him. Boom's ready to go. Crystal's oh, going to be in with the teleport too, and both supports will die in the rivers again. Whatever position five means anymore. With a blink on the bat. Satanic is 150 gold away from the Lincolns. They're not actually going to go off. towards their triangle. Instead, they want Lauren off and they're going to be rewarded. They jump in with the Wukongs. There's no messing around from them. They want to shut down the Pango without a Four. hope of his escape. Now, Jabs is also getting hunted, but it looks like they will stop short of the T2 tower. Yeah, hasn't really been doing any moves that uh, and hasn't died like on the bottom lane. He 0 0 0 mid lane, Jabs. Jabs? He's going to be able to get the jump on to Poppy. But there's no more extra good. damage for Lorenov's really going to be able to enter the fight now. But the robot will hold the Rolling Thunder into place. Finally, Satanic, though. Think looks to here. show up to the first team fight. But cordon has got an arcane room. Let's see what the Timber Sword's going to be able to do. Waveform's still on cooldown for a little bit. Crystal's going to fly into the middle with a stun. Cordon should get the damage Can in a couple escape? of seconds. Satanic only Ooh. gets... Some moments of space away up at the high ground, a secret continue to chase, and we are still going to see every single fight he's going to be roared. So you either need to... You, you probably just need to kill the Beastmaster first. Boom would be a great target. Crystalis isn't too bad either. Aggressively trying to take a tier 2 tower down with no one else but Arthur behind him. Maybe a little bit greedy there from Secret and Aurora. They will punish them. Who wants to steal the Wisdom Rune? Maybe he manages to. Let's see. Nope, not gonna happen. Actually, Gleipnir should be able to time lapse TP. Maybe if he has it. No, no, no. He will be. It's just, just a force. There's another fight going on, actually. So yeah, jabs. And they get Oli too. Corden's got a haste to work with, and yeah, okay. There's not really much they have to worry about. They are taking back. Okay, never mind. Lorenov comes crashing into the middle. King as well. Is it going to look well, to try and turn towards Boom? Boom's got the raw stuff. He's going to be able to have an opportunity to cast it, but Satanic is doing way too much damage, and simultaneously, Arfu, oh, he's going to be chased down as well, but the raw doesn't connect onto the real Morphling, and Satanic, he can continue in pursuit. A secret, uh, just too aggressive once again. Nice attempt with the TP from Boom, but it'll be cut short. Lorenov finds a triple kill on the Pain Glear. Yeah, yeah, I think Sagittarius, position four with Sagittarius is... Anyways, move Why mid. Not? Yeah. Ripnir is there. Doesn't have the Ag Shard still. Oh, he's going to try and get in range to lay the Static Storm down, but the BKB is going to be up beforehand. Taking a fight without Lorenov is going to be pretty difficult, but the retreat is even harder. Boom. Holds jabs down. Secret. Strike back at the front of the T2 Tower. They should be able to get... An objective as well off the back of this. Corden's already looking for more though. Star sign talk. I was finding. I was trying to find a way to bring it back. I was struggling. Come on. Why? Why do you care about what people think so much, Weaver? You. You get the time lapse. Not to Got be. Him. He tried straight skipping stun? like a valiant event, uh, uh, attempt yeah. from him. He did slow them down, and they have Pangolier now. Back up. Wait, Ollie. All right, that jump at Corden. A lot of damage under the tip of the stop, but Jabs as well is in some danger. Crystalis. That's a big All kill. Right. No yeah. Weaver, no scent. Pango might be able to defend this, but he has no Lincolns. It's kind of scary for him to roar in, uh, rolling thunder in. That is because he can get roared. You just, 
you, you can't. This this should be a barracks and maybe a kill into Lorenov now as well. Nice static storm. Oli, as soon as the cast was there from the Beastmaster, I trying to pour him up and up with the turnaround with the Boundless as well. Chrysalis, he's going to be okay. Has an opportunity to play Roar's the Roar's there, And now the Roar inside the ring. Oh, that is a perfect way to use their spells together. And now Poppy as well is going to be able to catch another. They should have the damage before the time lapse. Will they? They will. Yeah. Boundless there from Chrysalis. Stops Q in the end. Interesting. Uh, Yule as well. Well from Corden. Can they do more? Yabs. Yeah. Looks like they might. All right. Monkey gone. And now it's an all-out retreat. Puppy up to the high ground. Everyone else is going to delt to split away. With the BKB. Nothing to yeah. go through it. Remember? Oh, it's and, and faster, the time Puppy. An aggressive jump in, but Puppy is off the mark with the initiation. And now Lorinov's going to have a decent oh, rolling thunder. It's at least enough to be able to get the kill, but Chrysalis just kills them all. The monkey wants revenge. Now they'll hold the roll for the Morphling as well as Chrysalis jumps down, claims his throne. They're aware that Aurora is still sticking around on the high ground. They're going to send summons instead, so we'll get confirmation that they're at least smoke and now. Crystal. Chrysalis, if he wants. He wants to He wants to break it. He wants to break the smoke, maybe. Boom is a decent target. Oh, Stampede in jabs. He found an opportunity for the double stun. Is there going to be enough follow-up, though? It's the best initiation they could have ever hoped for. And they're going to be rolled with the kill onto Boom. But with the outpost control, they can buy back and look to rejoin the fight. King in the back. As Aurora, I mean, Jabs is going to be cut down. Satanic now is in some danger as well. Looking to play around with the, the Monkey King replicate. Puppies on the prowl. Now they're pushing only 35 more seconds on the ages, though. Far enough. Far enough. They're going to be able to get the buyback out of Jabs. Agshard used. Lorinov's okay. Chrysalis is falling low. Jabs is well with the jump in again. Multi-man stun will connect. Gordon taking crits to the face as well. Chrysalis off the respawn will have BKB and the Wukongs if required. What's the call from Secret? They're going to need a way to be able to protect oh, no. him with a drag back. But Chrysalis, he wanted to go back in with the boundless set up like that. He was ready for the turn. Satanic got blown up. And now without the Morphling, the damage just is not there. It'll be Megas no, and probably game. game. A bit, uh, of course, a bit disciplined. They don't have BKBs or Monkey yet. I really think this game is... Well, so is there. Nice time lapse from Q. Lapney, though, is going to be able to stop Jabs from entering the well. Now it'll be a 3v5. Both heroes without buyback, and yet they're going to call it secret. Just outclassing Aurora. I mean, we had... Early game was looking pretty even, but just the execution from, from Secret in some of the team fights. Much, much better. If Shaker is not uh, in position to use Fissure properly, top is maybe killable. Well, it's just a Off problem. Is Shaker. Jabs. This, this man is always in position. Maybe out of position this time. Tending's going to be able to surround him with the illusions. Plasma Field will get through a lot of them as well. And even Puppy is going to be free to rotate because he doesn't need a help bottom. King is dead. So Satanic will actually go down. Well. Now Oli's going to die as well. And He doesn't yeah. even know what he's buying at this point. He's going back to drums now. We'll see. We'll see. Bottom lane, it does look like Aurora reading nice this though. Nice though. Yeah, Chrysalis just ran way too far over the tower. And now Ol isn't going to be in a position as well to stop Puppy, Puppy on the escape and... Perfect. Well, Lorinov, this is what we were saying. This Timber saw needs to be active, needs to get involved in a double kill for the Timber. Not really a lot of stats to work with. He's not that tanky. He doesn't even dish out that much damage very fast without ult. So, nicely done. They are beating on Puppy, but... Got him again, yeah. Oh, nice bait. Black hole from Jabs. Nice bait indeed. <laughs> Are they what, what's going on? Like I'm so confused. I I just like yeah. shat on them and said like, which I do think was warranted. Like this lane was horrible. They were like it was going poorly, and this just thing. outplaying them. And it's just such a night and day difference. And black hole then probably not amazing. Top lane though. Maybe they see that boom stepped out a little bit too far forward. They do. And they're going to be able to jump in. I mean, Puppy's playing on the outskirts to, to try and do his best to disrupt, but it's not going to matter in the end. Boom is pretty tanky, though. These are a lot of spells that are required to get the kill. And Secret are coming, though. Corden's going to be there to respond. 
Can Afu find BKB. an opportunity to be able to enter the fight? Lorenovs activates the BKB. He's okay. Papa with the TP out. That's cut short. There's Dude. a black hole in one. Ready with a jump, and now they're going to go as well. Jabs, can he find black. the anchor connect? Oh, no. Both the soul. Okay. It covers at least. It's still going to be able to set up for both, and the damage, it's not in question. Lorenov once again waltzes into the middle, gets the combo out, and down goes Secret. Dances back to the T2 tower. Now they're going to go to the triangle where they might run. Ooh, let's see if they get baited. And run to Oli shortly. The glimpse of him catch him out of the tree line. It's a support kill, but it is 45 seconds where Aurora played with a 4v5, which will stall out this ages. So it really isn't the worst for Secret. You can now get your leans in a decent position. Sorry. How does Boom play the team fights as well, though, in particular? As actually will hold that. They are mass teeping in. And yeah, they're not going to hesitate with dropping the black hole. Oh, Fissure, Fissure no, still could, and it's just going to run in. He'll cancel at the last second, but it doesn't matter. You, you're happy with the, the almost full duration uh, black hole that was used, and now Arthur as well is... He's going to be killed off in the trees. I mean, okay, oh, the, wait. King's in. He's got Son. Uh, yeah, okay. I see you, Son. Oh, <gasps> Fisher, oh my he's god, got... they got him. He's got Disperser. Maybe he can... Where is he going? Nah, he's just not running anywhere. He's not out. There's just nothing he can do. Maybe he can get a kill. That is not to be. All right, Afu. It has been a very, very rough game for the Earthshaker, but... <laughs> That's some, a tip. You know, <laughs> and they're going to drop a ward as well for Afu up on the cliff. See if they're going to be able to take a fight around the area. Lorenov will run in. Hex as well. Jabs ready with the black hole. That's the ideal target. And they've got the damage. Satanic is not enough. And now it's all up to Boom to turn the fight. Satanic's going to activate the song. The retreat is called. Or maybe they want to go back in instead with the beak. It's all cool down. Is there an opening? Boom. Charging forward aggressively on the Razor. Caught him. He's going to get caught with the Hex. It's not going to matter in the end. There's no more extra fort. Now King... He's isolated, Ooh. but so is Broom. There's an opportunity to blow him up, and they will do so. And then Shadow Naga, Demon. they just don't have to damage without Chrysalis. Oh, He's going in and out, Is it going to be big enough, though? It's nope. not, King. He's still alive. Caught him having a free fight at the moment, but once the Hex comes out, Lorinov will get on top of him. A USF to restore some of the damage. He should still die afterwards, though, in Aurora. And they get him? Okay. Finally, finally, they get him, but Aurora, what a team fight from them. Long as well to play with. It will Jabs not has be a TP. Simple. He'll be there, right? He has drum smoke from Ninja Gear, Blink. They have song they could, as well, Illusions. Yeah, that's the big thing, right? The song. Maybe after getting the, caught in the trees as well. Christmas is also taking a lot of damage inside Roche. It's an early song. He's got Satanic. Fish is a little bit awkward as well. And Jabs is getting close to the team fight though. Black is he going to be close enough or can they take it without him? Boom, trying to hunt down King. Stealing a lot of damage onto the Razor, but Jabs jump in. Three to Black onto the Gyrocopter once again. The life still, it is just not enough. Afu might be able to get the kill onto Jabs, but... And they also killed King off to the northern side as well. Finally, a fight might go Secret's way. Unless Lorinov has something else to say about it. Hunts the backline, assassinates Arfu. Roche's pretty low, though. Yeah, they bought back on Shadow Demon. He is moving through the portal. Oh, he freed up the slot. He freed up the slot. Lorinov. Oh, yeah, got the beacon. He, he got it. No way, Lorinov. No way. Boom. Activates the refreshing, though. So with another beacon B for him to work with, Lorinov. He's vulnerable to this. It's going to expire pretty shortly. Lorinov will try and turn. Choose him with the buyback as well, but Lorinov he goes to the opposite direction of the task. Okay, Q is here. Sh uh, Shadow Demon as well. Shaker gone. is back. Maybe Afu can stall this out long enough. No way. Ollie's going to go down as well. Corden, he's got another coil. He's got another coil with the damage okay, output. Ollie should drop down. And Lorinov is out. He wants nothing to do with his team fight. Somehow, secret. Holy. Even after losing the ages, Boom will not even die a single time. So difficult for secret. Oh, no, to instantly. They see the sentry get dropped and they smoke up together. Using a good position to pop it. Not a bad pick off though for secret. 
They're not going to be able to so get it though. Go. Oli frustrating with the banishment. King's going to try and enter as well, but the song sets up for jabs and it's a double black hole and it's two incredible targets. He's ready to go for a second round if he can fight it on to court him. But the buybacks are there. And this is such a heavy investment on Secret. They must get kills and they need to do it now before the retreat. Yeah, maybe maybe this Tusk in the corner is caught. Lorenov gets Puppy in the end as well. They do at least get Tusk. He has a buyback. With them at the moment, he's shoving mid. Is that good or bad? He maybe take a side. Let's see. He actually is moving back. Lorenov. Oh, ah, Fury just gets caught out of the tree lane. Okay, he's gonna be okay for the moment now. Boom as well is locked onto his target. Nice fissure as well from downtown, but he's gonna be able to get the blink away somehow. Oli. Protected against the damage. Lone up gets some yeah, separation, but Oli will not be able to do so. Yeah, but these buybacks now, there's no BKB on uh Razor. These buybacks now are actually massive. Song can catch the jump. Kicks back boom as well, straight into King's location, and look at the Nagasari just go to work! They don't even need the Black Hole to win the secondary team fight. Chrysalis will stand strong on his hill. Has he got the damage with the PKP? But once it's out, it's not going to matter. Now Jabs can be in. And that should be all she wrote for our second game. Multiple diebacks. Chrysalis is somehow alive, but it just does not matter in the end. They will surround him and kill him off. A buyback out of court him. He might be able to snipe the Enigma, but not even enough damage. Out of the park at this stage, all these diebacks was crippling to Corden's net worth and... This is, yeah, this is how it should be done. GG. Yeah, game's over. Oh! Alright! Let's go, we're getting game right. three! Not bad, not bad stuff, some... Crazy team fights. It's when you're spamming Thunderstrike and Flat Cannon. Two spells that you can literally not control who they hit, so... And the left Say though, like, mid, Dragonite's right? probably one of the... Yeah, bro. It's gonna be boring. Game's Why are we top. looking at mid? Who cares about that? That's it. We don't want to leave top. That's... Go on what? <sighs> what makes the build work? They're going on him. In bottom lane? And yeah, they got Lorenov here just in case if they're going to be lacking some damage, which looks like will be the issue. Lorenov's able to snipe him, so... I think TP down, because he's got a blink to reveal. Alfie might be the Another target, or potentially Puppy. Or the stack oh, instead, should. and that's what we were bringing up before, right? That they took the hide, they could maybe now look at the Ancients afterwards, and potentially some kills, Corden. In with the Pulverize, pretty decent, but there's no more extra fault. Now Corden's going to be holding to place with the Frostbite Puppy. Nice static storm. I'm going to create static storm, but just where is any extra oh, damage? Crystals will finally enter the fray. Boom's going to be in with a teleport as well. They'll blow up Oli, but... That is all they got, and maybe Aurora can go back in. Lorenov, he's still got plenty of resources to take the team fight. Waveform over the top from King, gonna look to try and deal with Puppy. It's very deep close to the T2 tower, but they're playing such an incredible job at this distance. I'm just making sure there's no dive. The communication is always there for them. If they step too far forward, they'll retreat as a team, and Aurora will do just that. I mean, that is a huge sequence of events for them. Tower you have the disrupt the shot now as well. So Dive let us see. Secret actually going to smoke. Attack. Believe first proactive move they've actually made so far this game, but it is going to be into a DD BKB timber. I mean, this dude is a big issue, but maybe boom fuel damage. You see? All right, <laughs> that is a joke. That's the not me. an issue at all. Never mind. Yeah. Okay, there's something to move down bottom though. We do have, in particular, Aurora feel like they're in a position where they're going to be able to look at Roche. Die have... Oh, observe what, unfortunately, they it's about everything. to expire yeah. in five seconds. Comes back. No snowball Q. target. And yeah, looks like they should be able to get the kill into Q. Well, snowball will delay they it. They are blink. starting to come down on Aurora, but... Alright, he's going to be able to blink away. Now it's getting a bit more messy. They've got to commit and now Jab's going to be able to find the opportunity to jump over the top. Gordon's still trying to finish his food. Charge on forward. He'll be able to do so. Meanwhile, Oli's in some danger as well. But King has just sniped everyone on the back line with the flat cannon. Now, Gordon 
He's got no boys to play with. Lorinov's going to be able to catch up to him. Jabs as well nearby him. King's not done. Satanic's going to be able to catch up to Crystalis, forcing out the BKB. And this was... Um, this was the value of the Morphling, like we said in the draft, against the Gyrocopter. He just went straight for this hero, got the replicate, and everyone died to the flag. Uses the voice line. He might go even for Afu here. He has Glimpse. Like, I don't know if you can escape this, sir. Yeah, the glimpse no is way. There. Yeah, he's got it. Ah, uh, Repel. They're starting to tip in, though, but the team is coming. Corden's going to be perfect with the chain control. Nicely done with the shift kill with the onslaught, but here comes the boys. Is boom. Okay for the moment, but the magic damage is just too much for him to handle without the BKB. Now Crystalis, I mean, he's trying to chase down the supports, but Aurora, they're cutting it to the south, and I mean, it's a buyback and a boom, but are they really going to be able to get anything? Jump over the top of the tree line, jabs, and Lauren off the run to Gyro. Crystalis is gone. Now boom as well, it's about to be a dieback for the Omni Knight is Aurora. I mean, they can oh, clean up disaster. no hesitation. Oh. Just secret can get nothing working for them. This Omni Knight is becoming a meme again, or definitely became a meme again. Gordon jumping in. Nice kill, nice kill. Keeps them still in the game. This is still terrible for secret, by the way. That's a dieback on Omni. Your gyro died. Scanning. Need to drop the ward on the high ground. We're giving the information instantly with the jump in as well, but it's running onto the Crystal Maiden. This is so much committed, but just to support. In the back. And meanwhile, their back line is just getting ripped apart. Crystalis, you've still got the BKB to work with, but they're going to chase him down. Warus punches on cooldown for a couple of seconds. He got so lucky with the timing. This could be crazy. This just buys enough time for back. Be able to get the initiation this time it's going to be on to cube a little bit better there's just no one else no one else was ready to fall up and now satanic straight to the back line he goes he's just going to isolate the team so no one can protect cordon and gyro just falls under the damage i'm gonna he's gonna turn into he's gonna turn into gyro and meme them no surprised this time he doesn't hit them with any voice lines but yeah this is the power of the morphling into gyro Puppy is being hunted though. Um, caught. Be caught. In fact, he will be caught. Jab's able to catch him just on the retreat back to the high ground. <laughs> you you see as well though, like that fight previously where they, they jumped the Crystal Maiden, not the target, not the ideal one they want to go for. This time they go for the Tusk, but. No one else was able to follow. I'm um, just the the plays from Satanic to be able to instantly waveform in aggressively and and, and split the fight into two. Again. And look at it, he's just hit. There's nothing he needs to fear about. Nothing at all on secret that will worry Satanic at this stage of the game. He's still got ages to work with, and even all the boys playing behind him as well. Ball. Snowball Robbie. in from Afu, and a death as soon as it expires. They might go back is the re oh, oh okay. Don't see them moving back. Oh, he stopped it too short. I mean it's a Hail Mary play. And is it You yeah, don't have it. many other options to try GG. and find a way back into this game three and unfortunate for secret they will be eliminated from Elite League. But Aurora, they will move on, they will qualify through the groups.